Hello and welcome to the Actions tutorial. By the end of this video, you'll have an understanding of what Playmaker actions are and how they are used. Actions are what Playmaker uses to control the things in Unity, things like game objects and components. Just to run through some of these, you can see how straightforward their functions can be. I'm just going to make a cube, put an FSM on it, and put a set material color action on it. Set the color to blue. And then when I hit play, it turns the cube blue. I'm going to get rid of that. And if I put a camera fade out action on any game object in the scene, leave the color set to black and set the time to, let's say, three seconds, then hit play. Our main camera fades to black. Get rid of that. Now on this one, I'm going to create a sphere. Let's move it over here. And if I put a move towards action on this cube, set its target object to the sphere. I'll slow down this max speed to three and hit play. I mean, really, what do you think it's going to do? Because if you said it just starts playing a dog barking sound and then rolls over, then wow, we are really not on the same page. And you need to start paying more attention because actually what happens is the cube moves toward the sphere. Similarly, if we put a rotate action on this cube and change the Y angle to five, when I hit play, it's going to turn this project into a fleshed out FPS. Well, no, it'll just rotate the cube, but wow, that's still great. Actions can also send events. Let's set up our move toward action again. Put the sphere in the target object. I'll really slow it down here. Move them a little further from each other. And down here in the finish event, I'll create our own event called arrived. And I'll just create an empty state for this to transition to. Now watch our FSM as this moves. So I'll hit play. You'll see it starts making its way over. And as soon as it arrives, down here, it goes to that second state. All right, I'm going to play that back one more time, but this time I want you to pay attention to our state window down here. And you're going to see a little green progress bar. Now you see this little green progress bar? Some actions will show you a progress bar that correlates with their function. So this one has a progress bar that represents how close the game object is to the item I've told it to go towards. So what did we learn in this video? We learned what actions are for that they control things in Unity like game objects. We learned that some actions have progress bars to show us how far along they are in their execution. And finally, we learned that we learned all that. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn all the various features of Playmaker. Links to more learning resources are in the description.